In the wake of recent mass shootings, agencies in Jacksonville are partnering to prevent violence on school grounds. Today was day one of training for school administrators and resource officers to develop threat assessment teams. WNCT's Camila Barco is live in Jacksonville with the details. Camila. Right, Shayla, the, th the threat assessment team is a group of people who will be on the lookout for signs of potential threat or violence at schools. It's a safety approach for the school district and local law enforcement to stay in direct communication. Columbine High School, Sandy Hook Elementary, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. These are just a few of the mass shootings that have prompted the city of Jacksonville to take on another proactive safety effort. It's, it's incumbent on us to do something. Jacksonville City Mayor, the Police Department, and Onslow County Schools have joined to form threat assessment teams. Put our, our folks that are in contact with the kids on a day-to-day -day basis in a better position to you know, make judgments as far as you know, when safety may become an issue. School administrators and resource officers will monitor students' behaviors to identify potential threats. They'll bring the school administrator, the school psychologist, and the SRO together, and on a monthly basis talk about what potentials there are. An open line of communication to avoid a negative outcome. That's what we're trying to, trying to work on, is that communication flow from the police department side and from the school side. Jacksonville Mayor Sammy Phillips says the city and the school district already provide a safe environment for students. I think we're way ahead of the game in, in most aspects of it. There are, there are certain things that probably will need to be fine-tuned. Threat assessment teams are one of many safety measures Onslow County Schools has implemented. This school year, a school resource officer will be assigned to every Onslow County Elementary School. It's a process of developing trust between the students and the officer, between the officer and the school staff, between the school staff and the students. Resources aim to prevent violence and help with early intervention. Law enforcement, the school district, and the city in Jack of Jacksonville encourage students, if you see something, say something. Live in Jacksonville, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.